Hey guys, my name is Wits. Whether you want to connect and use a wired controller or a wireless controller with your ROG Xbox Ally or Ally X, the process is easy. All these Elite Series controllers that I'm showing you on screen right now, they were tested and they work fine with this device. But I'm going to use a regular Xbox controller. I'm talking about the OG controllers with batteries. In fact, the one that I'm using came with my Xbox Series X and it's been my backup since 2020 when Xbox Series came out. I say this just to show you, you do not need a fancy controller. So let's get started. If you're going to use a wired controller, just plug it to an available port to either directly to the device or a dock station and you should be set. But for a wireless controller, Here's how to get this done. So my ROG Xbox Ally X is connected to a dock station. And so this is the screen where we are right now. That is the Xbox full experience. This is a screen that you most likely will start whenever you turn on the system. So we are on the home tab, but in order for you to go to the settings that I'm going to show you, just press the command center from your Ally or Ally X. And then just come here to the cog and then uh, you can see where it says exit full screen experience. So we're going to exit out of this one. Now, once you are out of the Xbox full screen experience, then you should have a screen right here with tab, just like you are on the desktop. And we are going to go here to the start menu. So and then from here, go to settings and you want to go to Bluetooth and devices. And now we're going to add a device. So once you click on this, now the options that you have here, you have all these options. It have Xbox controller. Don't use that option because you may not be using an Xbox controller. So the Bluetooth option is what we are going to use. So just click on that option. Then it's going to start looking for things. So now what we're going to do, I am going to get the controller, the OG controller I was talking about, and I am going to press the pairing button that is in the front of the Xbox controller. So I'm going to press and hold it until I see the power button start flashing and you should see on the screen that it already coming into play. And all I got to do is just say yes, connect, and then I should be good to go. So as you can see right now, it is connected. So now I can just go ahead and you can see I am using the controller with the analog stick so I can do things with this control. So it is very easy to get this done and now it is integrated to your system. So we are going to go out of this menu. Now we are in the actual game menu. Now, if you want to go back to the Xbox full experience or you want to play another game from somewhere else like Steam or whatever, then you can decide to do so. So we're going to go back to the Xbox full screen experience. Now, if you want, you can just go to the restart optimized performance. I prefer that you do that because a lot of time for some games, if you don't do this, it may not work with the controllers. So always do the restart optimize performance that way you ensure that the controller is going to work if you ever have any issues with your controller just exit out of the xbox full screen experience and then just come to this option and restart it now as you can see this process will reboot your whole system and it will turn off the controller and you have to turn the controller back on so we're going to do that so not that my controller is back on I just have to make sure that it is working. So a lot of time might take a little bit of time for it to start showing, but I am going to use my mouse and, and go back to the full screen experience. I go in here to the home station and you can just click on the Xbox if you so choose. And then you can start testing the controller to see if it is working. So we are going to try a game and uh, see if the controller is working. Now, the game that I am going to try is going to be the Outer Worlds. The reason being because this game, when I first installed this game and I tried, I tried it with the controller, it was giving me issues and not 
let me use the controller for some reason. So I am going to show you that this game is working with the controller. So if you find any issues with any game that is not letting you use your controller after you already set it up, do what I said earlier. Just go and exit out of the Xbox full screen experience and then restart the system with the optimized option. Then that should work. That's how this works for me. And I'm going to show you how this game works. Now, as you can see, I am in the game and it is working with the controller and you can see on this screen, it says left bumper, right bumper. Now, a lot of times, some of the games, you have to go inside the game and make sure that there is no restriction as far as you using a controller with that game. And some game may not support controllers. The games that don't support controllers, it should probably tell you, but a lot of time customers or gamers might not know that, but just always check. But like I said earlier, if you ever have any issues with any game that is not cooperating with your controller, then just go exit out of the Xbox full screen experience and then start in the optimize option. And then normally that should fix it. I'm not saying this is going to be the problem solving, but it worked for me. So I figured it might work for you as well. So that is that the game is working fine. Now, if you are playing on Steam, a lot of time you have to make sure that your controller is set up for Steam. So I'm going to go to Steam real quick and I'm going to show you how to get this done. So just hit the command center again and you can come here and then you can see whatever you already downloaded for your external app or launcher. Then you can click on it. So we're going to go to Steam real quick. Now, once you are in Steam, all you got to do, just go to Steam and then just go to the settings and then just go towards the bottom and you will see controllers. And here you got to do some toggling on and off. So just check the option that applies to you. So you can see all these options, right? So you can see external game pads. And uh, just make sure you enable the one that applies to you. So for me, it's the Xbox controller. So I make sure this is checked. If you have PlayStation controller, just make sure that is checked. They have an option to enable PlayStation controller here. So just make sure that you toggle the right button and that normally can help you out. But Steam also have an option for you to test your controller if it is not one of those controllers like an xbox or ps5 controller then you can just go and just work that option you should have that option available if you happen to have one of those types of controller that is different from xbox or ps5 so then you should be good to go and playing your steam game with no issues now if you want me to test a game real quick we can try something real quick and i'm gonna try a, an easy game let's go with the yotun slayer All right, as you can see, we are playing a game on Steam and I'm using my controller, so there is no issues whatsoever. So the controller works fine. And uh, as long as you set it up and uh, you should be good to go. Anyway, that is it. I don't think there is anything else that you need to know. But if you have any question, just be sure to leave it in the comment section. And if you have any tips and tricks that you know for yourself, just share it with us in the comment section and we will be most appreciative. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Hopefully this helps you out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.